My name is Roberta Deal, and I'm part of the Humane Education team here at West Suburban Humane Society. We have moved into our new building and are very excited to be here and hope that we can share it with you soon. These presentations that we will be giving are geared toward children to learn about animals. Today we'll be going into the cattery and I will be teaching you about the cats and their unique abilities. Hi, this is our cattery. The cattery is an open concept. We have found that the cats have more ability to play with each other, to um, get to know each other, and to snuggle together. So we'll be talking to you from the cattery and all of these cats that you'll be seeing today are available for adoption. Next, let's talk about a cat's eyes. The cat's eyes are an open window to his heart. Cats have excellent night vision, but when the sun is shining, they miss out on some details. Cat's eyes glow in the dark, making them look spooky. All cats, no matter their breed, are born with blue eyes. Their true color appears at about 12 weeks. Now let's talk about a cat's ears. A cat has about 20 muscles in each ear that lets cats rotate both ears in different directions at the same time. This enables them to pinpoint the sound. You have to look very closely to see them rotate their ears in different directions. Their ears can also tell you a lot about how they're feeling. Beware of a cat with flattened ears. That means they're scared or ready to fight. Did you know that blue-eyed, all-white cats are almost always deaf? A cat's whiskers help them find their way in the dark and act like a short-range radar when they are hunting. The whiskers are rooted much more deeply in the skin than their fur. The tips are so sensitive that they can detect even the slightest change of a breeze. They help them figure out how wide an opening is. You never want to cut a cat's whiskers. Imagine if somebody blindfolded you and you couldn't take it off for a few weeks. It's like that for a cat whose whiskers have been cut. Have you ever been licked by a cat? If you have, you probably noticed that their tongues are very rough. There are many reasons for that. One, it helps them to lap up water. And second, it helps with grooming. Cats spend about one third or more of their day grooming. A cat's tongue has fewer taste buds than a human. They don't have the taste for sweets, so no candy for them. Although cats come in many different colors, they all descend from the same tabby patterned wildcat, light brown with black stripes. Their fur comes in many different lengths and color. Many people still have superstitions about certain colors of cats. Some people believe that orange cats are friendly and that black cats are bad luck, but we know that's really not true. Last, I'm going to talk about the tail. The tail has about 28 bones in it. It use, the cat uses its tail to help it leap, turn corners when running fast, and to balance on ledges. It also tells us about the cat's mood. If a cat's tail's straight up, they're feeling friendly. A tail down and wagging hard might mean they're a little defensive. A tail that's up and all bushy means it's angry. And if the tail is between their legs, it, means, it might mean that they're scared or shy. Almost everything you want to know about a cat can be told by its tail. This is the end of our presentation. I hope you learned a lot about these amazing creatures. Remember that they're all available for adoption and hopefully we can open up soon and you can come visit. Thank you.